Mick de Vries, born 6 February 1995, is a Dutch racing driver currently competing in Formula One for Williams Racing. De Vries makes his debut at the 2022 Italian Grand Prix and is the reserve driver for the Mercedes-AMG Petronas F1 team. He won the 2020-2021 Formula E World Championship and the 2019 FIA Formula 2 Championship, as well as the 2010 and 2011 Karting World Championships. He was signed to the McLaren Young Driver Program from January 2010 until May 2019 and Audi Sport Racing Academy from October 2016 until August 2019. Give this video a giant thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss any future videos. Early Career Karting In 2008, De Vries won the WSK World Series for the TF3 category, as well as the German Junior Championship. In 2009, he retained both his German Junior and WSK World Series titles, as well as winning the European TF3 Championship. In September, he won the 2010 Karting World Championship. He also won the World Championship in 2011. Formula Renault Euro Cup 2012 In 2012, De Vries switched to single-seaters, being given a cockpit in the Euro Cup formula. Renault 2.0 at RACE GP De Vries achieved his first podium finish at his debut race in Alkenes with a second place, and he managed to repeat this result at the Hungaroring. De Vries finished the season in fifth place, beating all of his teammates. In addition, De Vries took part in several races of the Formula Renault 2.0 NEC, in which he managed a victory at his home track in Assen. He was on the podium four times in 11 starts in the series and ended up 10th in the driver's standings. 2013 The following year, De Vries switched to Koronen GP for his second season in the series. He won one race each at the Hungaroring and the Circuit de Catalunya and again ended the season in fifth place in the championship. 2014. In 2014, De Vries stayed with Koronen and competed in his third season of the Euro Cup. He won six races and finished on the podium in 11 of 14 races. With 254 points to 124, he convincingly beat the runner-up Dennis Olsen in the championship. In addition, he took part in the entire Alpine Formula Renault season. He won 10 out of 14 races and only failed to make the podium twice. Formula Renault 3.5 Series In 2015, De Vries made the switch to the Formula Renault 3.5 Series, racing for dams. He was on the podium five times before winning the final race of the season at the Circuito de Jerez, putting him third in the final standings with 160 points, only placing behind Oliver Rowland and Matthew Vaxivier. GP3 Series De Vries took part in the GP3 Series in 2016 with Art Grand Prix. He scored his first podium at the Red Bull Ring with a third place, then obtained his first pole in Budapest. It wasn't until the second race at Monza that he took his first win, a result he replicated at the Yas Marina circuit at the end of the season. He finished sixth in the championship, behind his teammates Charles Leclerc and Alexander Albin, who became champion and vice-champion, respectively. FIA Formula 2 Championship 2017 in 2017, De Vries switched to the FIA Formula 2 Championship with Ray Pax. He achieved his first win in the Monte Carlo Sprint Race and scored a further three podium finishes before the summer break. Before the round at Spa-Francorchamps, De Vries switched to Racing Engineering, with whom he scored a second place at that very round. He ended his season seventh in the championship, placing second highest of all rookies. 2018 for the 2018 season, De Vries moved to partner Sean Jaleel at Prima Racing. His season started slowly with just two podiums from the opening third of the season, putting him a fair way behind his title rivals. De Vries' first victory of the campaign in the sprint race at La Castellet was followed by a pointless round in Austria and two finishes outside the top five in Silverstone. Following that, however, the Dutch driver's form improved winning the feature races in Hungary and Belgium, respectively. But even with his sixth podium of the season in the Soki feature race, De Vries was unable to finish in the top three of the standings, being beaten by Alex Albin and Lando Norris, 
by 10 and 17 points respectively. 2019. De Vries at the 2019 Spielberg Formula 2 round with Art Brand Prix. In 2019, De Vries remained in Formula 2, returning to his former team Art Grand Prix alongside 2018 GP3 vice champion Nikita Mazbin. His season started in strong fashion with a podium in Baku and a sprint race victory in Barcelona. He followed that up with a win from pole position in Monaco and took the championship lead by winning the main race at Le Castellet. A pair of third places at the Red Bull Ring and a podium each in Silverstone and Budapest extended De Vries' advantage, and following another pair of thirds in Monza, he had put one hand onto the trophy. After his fourth and final victory of the season, which came at the penultimate round in Sochi, De Vries was mathematically crowned Formula 2 champion. Give this video a giant thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss any future videos. FIA World Endurance Championship On 15 March 2018, De Vries signed at Racing Team Nederland to compete in the LMP2 class. He won the six hours of Fuji on 6 October 2019 with this team, their first win in this class. De Vries drove the last stint and put the car over the finish line. On 6 July 2020, De Vries was announced as the Toyota Gazoo Racing Europe can be test and reserve driver. His roles include testing the Toyota TS-050 Hybrid and Toyota's Hypercar. During the test week prior to the 2022-24 hours of Le Mans, the ACO officials prohibited TDS Racing X valent driver Philip Simidoma to start. Due to his reserve role for the Toyota Hypercar team, he was already on the circuit and was asked to step in because of the bronze status of Philip Simidomo and the platinum status of De Vries. The car was moved from Pro or Am to Pro. Formula E, 2019-20 season. On 11 September 2019, De Vries was announced as a driver for the new Mercedes-Benz EQ. Formula E team for the 2019-2020 Formula E season, alongside Stoffel Van Dorn, after failing to find a seat in Formula 1 for the 2020 Formula 1 season, the team finished the season with a 1-2. Van Dorn leading De Vries who finished the season in 11th with 60 points, 2020-2021 season. For the 2020-2021 season, De Vries continued at the renamed Mercedes EQ Formula E team with Stoffel Van Dorn. He qualified on pole for the first race of the season opening to Ria Aprik's doubleheader, proceeding to lead every lap en route to his first-ever victory in the series. Before the second race, De Vries did not take part in qualifying as Mercedes and Venturi Racing, who were both using Mercedes powertrains, were suspended from the session following the crash of Eduardo Mortora during a practice start procedure. In the race, the Dutchman finished ninth after penalties were issued to multiple cars. At the round in Rome, De Vries failed to score points in both races, having collided with his teammate Van Dorn and Sam Bird, respectively, in the two races. De Vries achieved his second victory of the season in Valencia, where he was one of the only drivers to not run out of usable energy before the end of the race. Following two rounds, in which he only amassed a total of two points, De Vries fought for victory in both races of the London Iprix and finished in second place in both races, thus taking the lead of the championship before the final round in the first race in Berlin. He did not score any points but managed to maintain his lead in the standings. Having qualified 13th for the final race of the season, De Vries was given an early advantage when title rivals Mitch Evans and Eduardo Mortora collided at the start and fellow contender Jake Dennis was involved in a crash shortly after the restart De Vries finished the race in 8th place, thus winning his first ever world championship in Formula E. The Dutchman ended the campaign with a total of two wins, four podiums, and 99 points, seven ahead of vice champion Mortera. 2021-2022 season De Vries and Stoffel Van Dorn remained with Mercedes for their Swansong season in Formula E. De Vries won the first race of season 8 in Doria and got pole the next day, but finished in 10th and ended the championship in 8th with 106 points. Give this video a giant thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss any future videos.